There are various techniques you can use when digitizing polygons to ease your digitizing. Now, one is the snapping, which we covered earlier. There's also then some advanced snapping and auto-completion of polygons. So here I'm doing a land cover layer, and you see I have fairly complicated edges, and I never want to digitize an edge twice. So if I set my snapping correctly, I don't have to digitize this complex edge twice. So suppose I want to digitize the area out here, which I'll call the yard, and I don't want to have to re-digitize the edge of this building. Well, if I make sure that I have my advanced snapping tools or snapping tools open, remember I can do that by looking at the view, going down here to toolbars, and off the bottom there's a snapping toolbar. I'm not going to expand the screen to show it to you. Then I have the advanced digitizing toolbar. I can then set up my digitizing to allow me to do this auto-completion across edges so I don't have to digitize twice. So snapping is turned on here, this magnet, and then here in this advanced configuration, I can open the snapping options, and for the layer I'm working on, I can set that it'll snap to vertices, and the tolerance here is two meters, and I'll avoid overlap. That gets rid of the areas that overlap when I digitize across the middle of a piece, an existing polygon, so I make sure that's clicked. Now, once I'm set up that way, I can add a new polygon here, starting inside the existing polygon. So you show that, you know, there's a house polygon here that already exists. It's semi-transparent, so I can see through it. I start inside and click at the edge, and then I click along the boundary, digitizing it as I go, and you can see it's digitizing this piece. I'm going to do this quickly and rather poorly. And then you see when I get back to the edge, I click right at the edge, and as long as the whole existing line is inside, if I just then click and then right click and finish it and say OK, it then digitizes the new polygon, and if I select this new polygon, you can see it's matched the existing edge. I haven't had to digitize it twice. I'll do a piece of road here to show the same thing again. Um, basically, I have my snapping set up, I'll digitize then starting inside and go outside and digitize whatever feature I want. And then when I come back around, as long as the entire line is inside the existing polygon, if I click and end my polygon, it then gets rid of the overlapping area. So again, by selecting this, I can see and show here it's matched this edge. I haven't had to digitize it twice. There's no sliver, no gaps, no openings. So uh, I can use that to good effect as I'm digitizing a quilt and have the edges match.